Hi everyone, it's me again, Aideen, and I'm glad that you can join me in the second episode of my vlog about investment in the Philippine stock market. And of course, my vlog will not be complete without showcasing the beautiful island of Grand Cayman. Alam ko naman na napakalayo ng Caribbean and not all Filipinos will have the chance to travel here. So sana mag-enjoy kayo and ma-feel nyo na parang nandito na rin kayo kasama ko. In this video, our discussion will center on stock trading. Disclaimer lang po, I'm not an expert in stock market but what I wish to share with you is my personal investing experience in the Philippine stock market as well as my knowledge from the point of view of an accountant. I want to reach my fellow OFWs from different parts of the world as well as the millennials and average Filipino workers who have little or no knowledge about investment in stocks. Para po sa inyo ito, I hope you can support my channel and show me some love by clicking the subscribe button. There are two ways to earn money from your investment in stocks. One is through dividends and the other is through trading. Ang trading sa madaling salita ay pagbabay and sell lang ng mga stocks. Halimbawa, bumili kayo ng stocks ng Jollibee ngayon. Makalipas ang isang linggo or isang buwan, biglang tumaas ang presyo. Pwede nyo tong ibenta at tutubo kayo sa pamamagitan nun. Napakadali lang ng konsepto kung iisipin mo. What makes it complicated are the ways to find the right stocks to buy in order to sell later on. What are the factors or forces that drive the stock prices? In evaluating the stock prices, we have to consider the fundamental and technical factors, pati na rin ang market sentiments. Ganun talaga, kung may gusto kang ma-achieve, dapat paghirapan mo. Kaya kung interesado kang matuto, just continue watching this video. The first step that you have to do is open an account with a stock broker. I am not affiliated with any of them, but since I have an account with BPI Trade, I'm going to be using their platform in my examples and illustrations. This is their homepage. Puntahan po natin ang analytics. As of June 9, 2020, there are about 329 stocks na pwedeng pagpilian. Please remember that our topic is on stock trading. So iba ang studies and analysis natin as compared to long-term investments. Our goal is to find stocks that we can later on dispose for a reasonable return in the shortest time possible. In other words, maghahanap tayo ng bargain na pwede nating ibenta later on sa magandang presyo. Pansinin niyo ang column heading. These are stock prices on June 9, 2020. So you'll see the opening and closing prices as well as the highest and the lowest price within the day. Ganun din ang volume or dami ng transactions and percentage of change. Kung nahihilo na kayo sa dami ng stocks na nakikita niyo, pwede naman kayong pumunta sa market statistics. Dito, filtered na to top 30 stocks ang makikita nyo in the following categories. Most active, top gainers, and worst losers. Umpisa natin sa most active. Ano bang mapapala natin sa information na makikita natin dito? Pansinin nyo yung column headings for volume and value. From here, you will determine the number of participants in a day. Ang volume is converted na into number of shares and yung value is in peso amount. Pagdating naman sa top gainers, pansin niyo yung column heading for percentage of change. Ang number one on that day was to go. Meron siyang difference na 2 pesos and 18 cents. So kung nakabili kayo ng 1,000 shares ng to go a day prior to that at nabenta niyo siya noong June 9, that means kumita na agad kayo ng 2,000 in just one day. When I started my investment in 2016, syempre hindi ko pakilala tong mga stocks na to. So for two weeks, pinag-aralan ko yung top 10 
top gainers. Nagmaintain ako ng journal or diary and etong mga nasa top 10 na to ang nasa watch list ko. Every trading day for 2 weeks nililista ko yung closing price nila. From here, gusto kong ma-determine yung support level and resistance level. Kung gusto nyo naman ng historical data, available naman ang charts sa trading platform. I just want to mention that out of the total cash I had back in 2016, in-split ko siya 50-50. Yung kalahate, nilaan ko yon for stocks that I will hold for long term, as long-term investment. And then yung kalahati naman, uh, nilaan ko naman for trading or short-term investment. So, nasa sa inyo kung gusto nyo rin gawin uh, yung kagaya nun. Iba yung process ng selection kapag ka for long-term investment and iba rin yung process ng selection kung for trading. So going back, ano ba ang support level? In stock market investment, ang support level is the price which the downtrend can be expected to pause. Ito rin yung tinatawag na entry point kung kayo yung buyer o yung presyo na aabangan nyo para bilhin nyo yung particular stock. Whereas yung resistance level naman, kabaligtaran nun. Yun naman yung presyong aabangan nyo para ibenta nyo yung stock. So, ang tawag naman doon is exit point. Siyempre, para mas maintindihan ng mas nakakarami, magbibigay ako ng example. Currently, I have these stocks in my watch list. So, the first thing that we will do is to check their company profile para malaman natin yung nature ng business nila and which business sector or industry they belong to. Pinili ko tong examples na to kasi alam ko familiar na kayo. JFC stands for Jollibee Food Corporation. So, kasama dito, aside sa Jollibee, ang Mang Inasal, Red Ribbon, um, Chow King, Burger King, Philippines. Whereas yung Maxis naman, Aside sa Max's Restaurant, kasama din siya ng Yellow Cab, Pancake House, Dentios, and Krispy Kremes. For sure, familiar na tayo doon dahil nakainan na natin lahat yon. Notice how the stock prices fluctuate kahit 2 weeks pa lang to. For JFC, bumagsak siya as low as 115 and 10 centavos and tumaas naman siya up to 145. So in 2 weeks, ang range niya is 30 pesos approximately and ang maxis naman ang pinakamababa is 5.55 and umabot naman siya sa 6.41 so almost 1 peso din yung range nila ang goal natin dito guys is to determine kung kailan ba tayo papasok kung tayo yung buyer yun yung tinatawag na support level kailan natin kailan tayo bibili ng stocks ng Jollibee or ng Max unahin natin ang Jollibee Ang pinakamababa niya is 115, pero hindi siya nag-steady doon. Kung mapapansin nyo, mas nag-steady siya sa 130. So, ito yung mas maraming demand. Ibig sabihin, mas maraming bumibili. So, ito yung tinatawag na support level or entry point. Guys, reminder lang sa inyo, pwedeng in a certain period of time, hindi lang isa ang support level. Pwedeng more than one. So, based sa data lang na to, ang pipiliin or ang entry point na pipiliin natin is 130. Most likely, pag nag-hit or bumaba sa ganyang presyo, pwede tayong bumili. And ang resistance level naman or ang price level na aantay natin para ibenta natin yung nabili nating stocks is 145. Hindi dahil ito yung highest price na nalista natin, kundi dito nag-steady yung supply naman. Ibig sabihin, at this price point level, maraming nagbibenta. So, ito yung chance natin to exit or i-dispose yung hawak nating stocks para kahit pa paano tumubo. Let's move on to Maxis. Kung mapapansin nyo, bumagsak siya as low as 5.55 and then umakit siya as high as 6.41. Kung compare mo yung dalawang stocks, Maxis is subject to volatility. Mas volatile or mas risky ang stocks na to. Kasi umaakit baba siya, napaka-unpredictable. Imagine from 6.05, tumaas siya, bumulusok siya to 6.41. And then on June 10, bagsak na naman siya at 6.04. So yan yung mga dapat na i-watch out nyo. Ito rin yung mga factors na dapat na i-ready or i-prepare nyo yung sarili nyo. Ito yung mga risk na dapat i-assess nyo kung kaya nyo na bang i-tolerate or hindi pa. Otherwise, hindi pa kayo ready to invest in stock market.
So based on this data, ano ang support level natin for maxes? I would say at 6.05 kasi ito yung point bago siya tumaas. And then after that, 6.30, bumagsak na naman siya close to 6.05. So 6.05 can be your entry point. And then your resistance level mo can be between 6.30 and 6.41. Anywhere between them, uh, between that, pwede mong i-dispose or ibenta yung stocks mo if nabili mo siya at 6.05. Let's notice naman the trend. As you can see sa maxes, hindi mo ma-predict bababa siya, tataas, akit baba. Unlike sa JFC, obviously pataas siya, pataas yung trend niya. Since JFC is on upward trend, pwede ba yung resistance level natin or exit point na pinili natin at 145 kanina ay maging support level or entry point natin? Oh yes, if it continues to go upward and hindi tayo nakabili ng stocks at 130 pesos, yes, pwede tayong bumili at 145. Kasi based sa market trend, it will take a while para bumagsak siya uli at 130. So... Nakakapanghinayang din if it continues to go up, tapos 145, hindi mo siya nabili. Kaya in determining the support and resistance level, importante ang market volatility, pati ang market trend na i-consider. Recap lang tayo, ang support level ay ang entry point, and ang support level is not always equal to the lowest price. Whereas ang resistance level, ay ang exit point and it's not always equal to the highest price. Eto sana ang mga natutunan nyo in this video. If your initial investment is less than 10,000, focus on skill development. Pumili lang muna kayo ng isang stock and mag-start kayo sa stock trading. Huwag muna long-term investment. And kahit magsisimula lang kayo sa isang stock, create a watch list from top 10 gainers or most active. Pag-aralan nyo at least 10 stocks. Most of all, sana naintindihan nyo yung konsepto ng support and resistance price levels or entry and exit points dahil importante ito sa trading. Ganun din how the market volatility and trends affect your entry and exit points. We will continue our analysis in my next video. We will discuss trading volume, price range, book value, and risk tolerance. And para mas makarelate kayo, ishare ko mismo yung actual trading experience ko during COVID-19. Kumita ba ako o naluke? And please, kung natuto kayo sa video na to ay nasihan, sana naman i-like and i-share nyo para mas marami pa akong ma-reach na OFWs, millennials, and average Filipino workers dahil para naman sa inyo talaga to. Till next time, this is Aideen signing off.